Hello and welcome to this video on how to set up your gradebook in the Moodle program. This is recorded on December 17th, 2019, so based on updates it may look a little different from what you see. So to access the grades, we simply click on the grade part of the Moodle section, which will be over here to the left, and that brings me to this screen. Right over here, it says the grade report. To set up the grading book, I want to change this to gradebook setup. Gradebook setup. As a little uh, bit of an introduction, I'm going to show you how to set up your grades using a weighted graded system. I strongly encourage you to use a weighted graded system. It has a lot of advantages, including keeping an up-to-date kind of running total of what the student is earning at any given time during the class. So um, this uses a weighted graded system. So we are in the graded book setup. First thing we need to do for the whole overall course, we need to make sure that we're in edit mode, which we are because we got here. You click edit, edit settings, and you want to change this to the weighted mean of grades, weighted mean of grades. Okay, that's the first thing you're going to do. And then you're going to hit save changes. Okay, we are now on the weighted mean of grades. Next thing we need to do is to create different categories. Okay, you'll notice there's a bunch of, of um, assignments that were already um, put into this class, but we haven't assigned them to categories yet. And you will notice that the course total shows again the weighted mean of grades. So we need to add a category. Okay. And what is the category name going to be? Well, in order to figure that out, we need to look at the syllabus. So here is the syllabus for this class. So this category is attendance. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to note that that's 10%. So the category name is, oh, look at that. OK, there's my name. OK, attendance. And I always put next to it the percentage. And then under here, I change this to simple weighted mean of grades. Simple weighted mean of grades. So attendance and simple weighted mean of grades. Okay. And then the maximum grade. So that's basically what I do when I hit save changes. I have now created a um, category, which is actually found down here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up here. I just click right here. My category is up here now. Okay, attendance. Now, once I've created a category, you see it's 10%, and it says the weights. Well, how do we figure out the weights? Okay, this is where you have to do a little bit of math. Okay, so 10%, when you do that as a weight, is actually 0.1. This, in the math world, is equal to 10%, so you need to make sure you change that to 10%. Okay, and again, simple way to meet a grade. Let's do one more category, and then I'll show you how it looks all the way done. Okay, so let's go back down and we're going to save changes just for giggles because you always want to save changes. Okay, then we're going to add another category. And my next category is quizzes and assignments. So copy that and I notice that's 20%. So paste, quizzes and assignments, 20%. And again, change that to a simple way to mean of grades. Go down here and hit save changes. And then again, it's going to kind of put it down here at the bottom because it's the last thing we added. So I'm going to move it back to the top because we haven't really assigned stuff to particular categories yet. Um, and so we'll add that right there. Okay. And again, if we remember, so that's 20%. And I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? What do I have to put here? Well, again, math says that 0 0.2 is the same as 20%. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save changes. Now you'll notice, so like I said, I've just set up the quizzes and assignments. And let's say that all these are quizzes and assignments. It's like, oh, well, I had already put in these assignments. How do I get them into the category? A very easy way to do that is next to these assignments, we have these little boxes. So if I'm just going to check these over here. Okay. Do, 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 do. And then down here, move the selected items to, oops, quizzes and assignments. Okay, and you will notice they are now in that category, quiz and assignments. Oh, look at that. Okay, and then I'm going to hit save changes. All right, let's go ahead and look at a completed grade book. Okay, this one's, um, 
Okay, I'll actually make this a little smaller because I had to hide the other one because it was showing student information and we didn't want to show you that. Okay, so here's a completed gradebook. So I've got my attendance set up, my quiz and assignments to 20%. There's out there are those. Writing project one is 10%. Okay, writing project two is 15%. Writing project three is 20%. Um, creative presentation is 10%. Journals and forums is 15%. So all these things that are in the categories, within those categories. Now, you can have things underneath here which don't count towards the overall grade. For example, we have to have a pretest. So I have this pretest here, and I need to know what they scored on it, but I haven't assigned it to any particular category. I've just put it, pulled it out of here, and I've assigned it a weight of zero. So it doesn't impact the overall grade, um, yet I can see their raw data because I need the raw data of the pretest um, for the reports that I have to do at the end. So then the course total. So as they are working throughout the course of the semester, as they earn their grades, this weighted total will show them what they've earned based on what was possible at the time. So if they've had four assignments and they've done you know, relatively well, it could say, oh, you're at 93%, which means at that point in time, they're earning an A. So that is how you set up a grade book in Moodle. And have fun doing it.